one of his lines and popped. I managed to get on there and get another one on for him. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's the old man. I'm sure you've been wondering what's happening to me. Uh, it's been several months. Um, for better or for worse, she's mine. I'm definitely keeping the boat. Uh, I've moved way forward and uh, there's a lot of good, bad, and ugly to go along with that. So let's jump right into it. I... Some of what's been going on is I blew out the budget. Uh, and there's actually some good, there's some bad, and it's also part of the very ugly, which I'm not going to get to till the end. Um, because the ugly, it, it's just a bummer. It sucks. And there's nothing I can do about it for now, so you got to roll with it, okay? The good thing is, my budget is much bigger now. And uh, part of the reason for that background noise, let me show it to you. So, check that out. 5,000 BTU room air conditioner hooked up to a 1,000 watt inverter powered by a pair of 100 amp hour AH lithium batteries. So, that's just one of the things that I've been doing, um, but I digress. Let me show you where I'm at. Okay, so what you're looking at there, obviously, is Mandarin Holiday Marina. Uh, as you know, Adelia came along. Um, the Rudder Club where I was, <laughs> interesting choice of words, right? The Rudder Club where I was, when a storm of that magnitude comes up, they want you to move out of the wet slips. It just gets too rough. You've seen that in some of the earlier videos. So, I moved. I did was I called Mandarin Holiday Marina where I had talked to Paul the manager before about a haul out for a bottom job. He was able to take me out and hold me out over the storm and we're doing a bottom job. So that's some really good stuff you know it was good that I got to move it's good that I'm getting a bottom job because I really needed a bottom job okay but in the process of doing the bottom job an interesting turn of events. The kid that was doing the work for him up and left. So he ended up pulling in one of his subcontractors who's actually a much higher qualified person. And what he discovered was blisters. We had to tackle that. Uh, I'm working a lot and I simply, at my age, I don't have the time or the stamina right now to do my job and then come and try to grind all this stuff down. So basically I've contracted with him. It's getting taken care of. It's still not done, obviously. I'm still out on the hard. Uh, the weather hasn't helped us any. We're gonna do a barrier coat, well actually a couple of barrier coats, and then we're doing some ablative paint because I, I have future plans that may call for taking it down again and adding to that barrier coat. So we're just going to do a blade for now. So that was bad, but it's also good. You know, discovered a problem that was bad, getting it taken care of is good. Because of my budget, I can afford to do it. Okay? So it's all getting done. Now, the rudder, as you know, when we bought the boat, had a little issue. That issue had not quite gone away because I think the people that did it for me the first time didn't do a very good job. I took it all the way down, I've paired out some more, I have coated it with epoxy, and it's going to get the barrier coat also. 
So again, had some bad, you know, a little compromise on the rudder, had some good. Okay. So a future project with that, and I know I've talked about it before, I'd really like to have a tiller instead of that wheel. The wheel gets in my way. I don't care for it. Got to climb around it to get to any of my control lines. So the possibility exists because the budget for it exists that when I do another haul out in a couple of years, I may call Phosphone, which is a company down South Florida that makes rudders. And I'm going to look into the possibility of getting them to make me a new rudder and have it with a long enough shaft that I can convert this back to a tiller. You may or may not know, but the Endeavors came from Irwin 32 molds, okay? And most of the Irwins had tiller, had tiller steering. So changing it back to tiller is not that difficult. Um, and it's something I'm gonna really, really research and look into. In any case, moving on from there, still got the bad, still got the good. Another project that I had started in the midst, or actually before the storm came along, was canvas. When my budget changed, I said, well, by golly, I'm going to have some canvas. I've been wanting to do a color change anyhow on the boat. Not as big a deal, but since I'm doing the canvas, I can do it all at the same time. I never did like the brown. Don't think that's just a good color for sailboats. So I'm going with gray, all right? I'm having a Dodger fitted. All right, and it, the Dodger, <laughs> the Dodger's actually ready and waiting to go back, uh, waiting to get fitted onto the boat. The hardware's all there for it from uh, the earlier Dodger that was no good. Um, any case, getting the Dodger, and I'd already taken my sail down to uh, the Irish sail lady in St. Augustine, and she swapped out my UV strip. Um, so I'm going with gray. I feel like, I feel like I'm in a battle. You know, this has almost turned into a battle of sorts. So I'm going with gray. This is my battleship now, you know. That's what it feels like. And as an old Navy man, I can dig a battleship, okay? I was on a battleship. I was on a guided missile cruiser, and I was on a frigate. But the guided missile cruiser was badass. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, um, so we're getting canvas done. If you were watching the video close when I was showing you the blisters, you probably noticed I've already done the bootstrap. I plan on painting the whole side of the boat gray. I didn't have the time to do it right now because I really want to primer it up, get rid of a few little dings and some more little pitting that I've got um, from Osmosis blisters, Osmotic blisters, however you want to say that. Anyways, over here on this side, the port side, there's a couple little spots. Um, but that's that's future stuff, okay? And it's all going well as far as I'm concerned. Everything's kind of working out along that line. Okay, and last but not least, what I'm super happy about is there is a spot here in the marina for me. I like this marina. Um, it's much better protected in weather. There's nowhere near as much fetch. This is a little... Uh, this is Julian Creek that dumps out onto the St. John's here, and you just don't get the kind of wave action that you get over at the Rudder Club. You don't really even get the kind of wind action because it's just so much more protected. So I'm super happy about that. I uh, forget what number it is. I'm showing it to you. You can see it there. Okay. All right. Now comes the hardest part, um, the budget. Why is it so good? Well, that's really some bad news, and it gets into the ugly news. It's, it's bad because the economy is bad. It's, you know, we all know COVID changed the landscape as far as the economy goes, as far as the markets go, as far as the economy goes. Everyone knows I was hoping to retire next year and take this boat to the Bahamas. That is not going to happen just yet. And at this point, I really don't know when it's going to happen. Um, the last little bit of my company that I have, you know, my pool service company that I was going to sell out is does not have the value that it did pre COVID. It's just the way the markets have changed right now. Um, so 
between that and just the economy in general and the way prices have, you know, changed so much, everybody knows, you know, that it's just different. You know, the landscape's just different. So I don't know exactly when I'm going to go, okay? So I've already wrapped my head around that, you know. Like I said, it's been several months, a couple of months since I realized that this was the case, since, uh, you know, I investigated, researched, and anyways, I know what's up, and that's the deal. So that's very sad, but I made a deal with the guy that I sold the majority of my business to three years ago, and basically picked up some more accounts, you know, we juggled some stuff around. So that's, you know, that's why my budget is better, um, just making more money. Uh, so most of that's going to go into the boat. I've already kind of pre-spent some of it because all of this stuff kind of came out at once. The canvas was, you know, good. And then we had this haul out, which, you know, was not anticipated and has increased in cost over what I thought. But super happy to do all this. Um, there were other projects that I wanted to do, but the time frame just wasn't happening. This is a very small marina, as you saw. He doesn't have any spots to just set me aside to where I could do some things. And I would have got more done, except we kept thinking the boat was going in. The boat was going in. And every time it didn't happen, you know, I could have had a chance, but we thought the boat was going in. So, in any case, those will all be future projects that'll happen at a later date. So, there you go. You know everything I know. Um, hopefully the boat will be back in the water next week. And I'm really looking forward to just getting out, spending a couple nights on the boat, sailing on the river again. It's been a couple months since I've had a chance to sail. And I'm just looking forward to that. There will still be some adventures. There's definitely going to be some offshore sailing. I'm thinking about St. Augustine again, you know, for Thanksgiving maybe. Um, but other than that, everything's still good, you know. Progress will be made. There'll be projects. I've got to get all this wired in. Um, that's a future project, okay? And uh, anyways, cutting the video short here. Uh, and I'll have some more stuff going on soon. I'll get back out on the water. There'll be some better looking videos. Hopefully not just me. But in any case, old man, over and out.